He signs, Ganacho signs. Um, how old is this man? How old is this young man, if I put it this way? 150 people liked this posting on the community of MUDU, Man United Daily Update, that Ganacho has just signed a new deal. Uh, I mean, I pose the question here. Do you think um, Ganacho's new contract shows how serious United is going forward, or do you think we should look for established and accomplished players to sign in order to become uh, a success? Anyway, Ganacho signs, and then there is another story on Ganacho that he is expecting a baby. He's expecting his first child. That was a typo there. Expecting his first child. So my question is, what do you think? Will it help him to settle or will it get in the way of his play? Uh, will it get, you know, will it affect his career? Being a young man, I, I know some people may think, um, you know, you know, anybody can marry at any point in time, at, at, at any age. I believe so. But bearing in mind his career has only just started, he's 18, 18 years of age, and he's settling. So is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Let me have your views. Um, so let me go into what fans have to say or what they've been saying. Sancho was spotted apparently to tell Fernandez to stop mourning. I, I found this very, very fascinating. Um, so, Paula believes Bruno keep going, keep doing what makes you think. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. I, I believe so as well. So, let me, let me, let me like that. I believe so as well. Um, let me reply to that. I believe so as well. Um, and Alamo believes it's all love. Yes. There's another comment here on, on, on our game against Aston Villa. Uh, AHMF believes he has been put off by the bloody refs, referees and the two red cards he received. Um, I, I think that must be referring to, to Bruno, I believe. Um, Paper Talk, Ted... Ten, Ten Hag hails Fernandes and Rene Cross says Soppy Stewart wants to be famous. Okay, I understand. Good luck. Let me see that post. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually... Let me go into that post and see if I can pick that out. Um, what exactly is this guy talking about? Um... Ten Hag Hills Fernandez. <laughs> Let's see, Ten Hag. Can I get that post? It must be quite an old one. He Hills Fernandez. Ten Hag. Um, don't know where that post is now, but anyway, let me continue. Um, Lindelof was the man of the match for me. Says Ahmed. Um, Lindelof, man of the match. That's another person. Um, Ten Hag, Hills Fernandez. Thank you, Ten Hag. Kojo Bold. Uh, Fabian Williams says, well done, Bruno. Elton Paul should have said, I own you. Mm. Um, Viva Ganacho, has he quit the Challengers yet? I uh, don't know what that means. Uh, Anthony, you play rubbish in Manchester, Abraham. Does he play rubbish in Manchester? Uh, people have to start giving Anthony the opportunity for him to settle. Uh, I believe he's a talented player and he would come good for, for United. I actually believe so. Um there's a story here about Harry Kane smiled when asked about um, MUFC fans chanting. Um, so Rahu is opting for Osime instead of Kane. Um, look at what Rashford did as soon as that's, that's one post, one um, shot that I posted. Look at what Rashford did as soon as West Ham scored. Let's bring Weg Weghorst on instead. 
uh, tight uh, the tight fixtures or the lack of depth in squads to blame for blowing the two two goal lead. Uh, K Gaming believes. Imagine to prepare that player will not end the game without knowing that even even he will perform brilliant game. It is cheap standard for sure. I'm surprised. I can imagine that is our manager attack. Not really. Don't really understand um, what K Gaming was trying to say there. And here is one of our haters uh, who has named the handle Real Madrid. They keep on popping up with 1-0. One, one uh, you know, it happens. Yes, we got beaten well by Liverpool, 1-0. So, so big deal. Uh, Liverpool, will Liverpool qualify for top four? Let's see. Um, the here's ball distribution. Um, George T believes... Improvement, he basically hoofs it every time. That's not my definition of distribution. This is an admission of incompetence. Um, George T, I personally believe that um, De Gea is a fabulous player, a fabulous goal kicker, goalkeeper. He's been, you know, player of the season several times. This idea of playing from the back has caused so many teams, you know, Goals and, and needless goals for, for that matter. I would rather have a typical old fashioned goalkeeper who stops the ball, who stops goals, who stops you know teams from scoring rather than being you know the 12th player trying to play from the back. Um, I, I don't know, everybody has their own opinion, but my opinion is that um, David De Gea is a fantastic footballer. Uh, let me see what people's got to say here. Um, Dr. Komalo says an admission of incompetence by you. You know, he was laughing. And, and, and I go with that as well. Um, incompetence. Um, everybody has their views. I respect your views, your T, but my view is that um, De Gea is a fantastic um, goal stopper, a fantastic um, goalkeeper. Um, close, close to, those close to Harry Maguire insist he wants to fight for his future. Well, uh, David believes it's bad. Uh, Harry, Harry, Harry knows what he wants. He believes, I don't know, maybe he wants to be um, a Premier League um, icon, a Premier League legend or a sports legend. It all depends on him. If he wants to stay at um, sports, so be it. But there are many talented strikers out there that Man United can go for. But Harry Kane... I can't dispute it, it's tried and tested in Premier League. So it would be a fantastic addition if he joins Man United. Um, rate Man United now. Here are my entries. Do you agree? Um, how could the 7-0 not be the worst? It's probably the worst of the pre-era. Well, again, HOD, that's your opinion. Um, let's go. Veron's birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, Veron. Um, people talk FA Cup kickoff time change. Yeah. Yanni, Yanni Teaser believes Man City will trash United 4 1 again. Um, that is your opinion. I believe it's, you know, if Man United turn up on the day, if we turn up on the day, I believe we can match. Um, City, and that was what Fulham did yesterday. They matched City, and you know, it, it was a close game. So it all depends on which team turns up on, on the FA Cup final. Ten Hag, v Victor Lindelof, it's great for him. He didn't play as much. Uh, Mo Far believes he's a very shitey player. <laughs> wow. I don't think so. Well, that was five days ago, though. So um, I don't know what you would say um, with his game yesterday. So let me go to latest latest post. Um, Donny Van de Pe Van de Beek has revealed he's not far away from a return to action. I hope he does return and fights for his. Um, fights for his position. I don't believe any player can just become a bad player overnight. Um, this guy was good for Ajax, and I believe that he too, if given the opportunity, 
um, will turn out will turn out good. Ratcliffe in poor position to buy United. How and why does British press think so? It beats me. I really do not understand how the British press have made um, Ratcliffe um, put Ratcliffe in poor position to buy United. Well, whatever happens, I just want those glazers out. Whether it's Ratcliffe or whether it's Sheik, I just want the glazers out. Uh, this was my earlier story about Ganacho um, expecting his first child. Uh, I wish him, I wish him and and his girlfriend um, um, all the best uh, for the future. And this was another story about Sancho spotted a parent to tell Fernandez to stop mourning. And Gary Neville reacts here. Uh, Manchester United legend Gary Neville says he hopes Bruno takes on board a complaint from, from Sancho during the win over Aston Villa. Um, never says he sums Bruno Fernandes up. He's Manchester United's most effective player. He is Manchester United's best player, but I think every Manchester United fan and probably every Manchester United player is thinking, just stop mourning. <laughs> uh, well, I understand what I understand what um, a lot of fans say about about um, Bruno, but that is Bruno's style. That, and I believe the players um, understand. I just thought Sancho just had enough and couldn't take it anymore, so he had to he had to speak up. And I'm sure that in the end, as you could see, those guys are tight. It's a team effort. You could see Bruno and and such Sancho hugging each other, and uh, no love lost here. So, Ten Hag believed Lendelof was absolutely brilliant. Um, 103 likes. I believe he was fantastic as well. So, especially that ball clearance at the end. Even though, I, I, you know, the it would have been ruled offside, I believe, but hey, he still made an effort to stop the ball from, uh, stop stop Villa from scoring. So that was fantastic. I particularly enjoyed this. Bruno celebrating his 100th career goal with a steer in front of the Villa fans. <laughs> that was, that was a- absolutely fantastic. 229 of you liked that. And who was United's man of the match against Aston Villa? Uh, 672 people voted. Lindelof with 76%, um, Bruno with 13%, and Casimiro with 11%. I actually thought you know, uh, Victor Lindelof played. He was, he was just absolutely fantastic. So I would, I would go for Lindelof uh, as well. Um, photo gallery, uh, the Man United in Villa match, Fergie, the legend, was there. Uh, bold. Usain Bolt, the legend, he was there as well. Um, and you could see um, um, the hair who kept a clean sheet. Uh, that was good to see. And um, um, Maguire and um, Fernandez, not sure what they were saying, but it was, it was good to see as well. And then finally, there was there appeared to be um, an exchange between Fernandez and Casimiro. What point was Casimiro trying to make? Well, again, this team is so tight because you could see both of them, that's Casimiro and Fernandez, really, really having um, a heated exchange um, or banter or whatever. But look at how it ended. It ended with a hug. And that was what it's all about. So this is fun comments. This is a new um, a new chapter in the life of MUDU. Um, let me know what you think about the fun comments. Um, please do subscribe. Um, it's a new channel, uh, and I must say it's you know fans uh, they see something about this channel and they are liking it. So. With this new edition, let me let me have your thoughts. Drop your comments, and I will endeavor to read your comments. Um, thank you for watching, uh, and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.